So we're going to pull one bead at a time. Keep your place as you go along. Soon you'll learn where all the beads are, so don't worry. But you do want to make sure if it says one or two, you want to pay a little bit of attention. If you need more than one. And I'm laying them down here. Six, twelve. Being careful just to pick up one bead. And sixty-two. Twenty-one, sixty-two. One seventy-two. Seven thirty-four. 362, 378, 774, 774, and 1262. She was not available. Oops. We're doing a video. Oh, sorry. 176. Okay, now. I leave my finger there. I'm going to count that I have 15. Then I check this off. It's very important. Then you pick up your work and you're going to go ahead and stitch. <laughs> and you'll go ahead and stitch it across. And of course, I did mine, you know, this is the first bead to the last bead, but you know, some people can go different directions. Just make sure you know which direction you're going. Oops. I like to put my... And the one thing you do want to be careful of is not to stab the mat because that's how you can lose beads. They'll fly away. So, <laughs> let's see anyway so you'll go across finish the row and then like I said don't stab your needle into here because it's too easy you see how it always lifts up a little when you pull it out so I totally lay this you know over 